So, Punishing Grey Raven seemed to have released a song a few months ago called Burning Vow. And I hear that it has singing on it. And I'm super excited to see what it's all about and check it out as well. And also give my own analysis and breakdown. But yeah, quick introduction to whoever's new here. I'm Noctis Curios. I am a singer. I've been singing on YouTube for about six years. And I'm also your friendly neighborhood assassin for hire from the future. So yeah, with that said, let's check out this song, Burning Vow, which is Lucia's character song. So yeah, with that said, let's go. Oh, open up with piano, okay. Oh, English? Okay. By stepping in the sand river, time after time, going backwards, I floated in the flow. Not just me that so persistent, even you. It's beautiful. The voice is beautiful right off the bat. Whoa. <laughs> Damn, this chorus is going crazy. Okay, I gotta pause. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I gotta pause and talk about that right there. Like, that whole beginning section there. Holy hell. <laughs> and let's talk about it and break it down real quick. First things first. It was beautiful. That was just emotionally beautiful. You can... I just loved it straight up. Her voice was amazingly beautiful. It was just... You could hear the emotion out of her voice, and I love that. And it really does feel, and so far, it really feels like a almost anime ending almost as well. It really gives off that anime ending vibe, especially with how slow it is as well. As it is very slow, very almost minimal in a sense, with... It mainly being like the piano at the beginning as well. And just all the, with the guitar, acoustic guitar, and just all the orchestral instruments or like strings as well. Giving that sort of anime ending vibe. And just, man, it really, from the way she's singing, it just feels so incredibly emotional. And it feels very sad as well so far. Just up to this point, it feels just so sad. Especially with the way that she's singing. Especially with the vibra little vibrato slash voice shakes. But yeah, overall, it's it really just seems like this is the end of the line, you know? But yeah, enough of my yapping. Let's continue. Oh, 
Ooh, the way she fell off that note there, too. Ooh. Oh, and a bit of a guitar solo? Okay. second part was wow that was just so beautifully sad just so so beautiful and sad at the same time it really did feel like a credits theme man like really did feel like the end again just that was beautifully sad and emotional holy heck <laughs> that was that was phenomenal. That was phenomenal. That was, yeah, I repeat it again and again. That was unbelievable. Holy. <laughs> and th good and, and wow, it was all in English too. Like, damn, that was incredible. But yeah, <laughs> that was a great, amazing song. And yeah, dude, holy. <laughs> wow. That's this is making me a bit emotional. Even though I don't really exactly know the exact context of the song. It really is evoking a lot of emotions of sadness. But yeah, let's talk about it, I guess. <laughs> Again, continuing on from where we were, which is around here really does give off really continues that feeling of an end anime end credits theme or the or like an end credits theme for like an anime movie like especially with how very somber and almost down and almost down it feels low energy it feels especially here I also love that before it, uh, I also love that little acoustic guitar having its little moment as well before when transitioning from the co sort of chorus slash high tempo slash high energy part of the song into into more of a lower energy portion of the song which gives us a little bit of a break there. And I love it. And her voice again is just beautiful. Like an old, old oh, and that that note there when she goes up is beautiful as well. Just so smooth and so almost angelic, really. It really helps to like continue to capture your ear and give provides you those emotions as well. well let's keep going. Ooh, I love that little, oh, there, that lyric there as well. 
I love how the first part of the lyric is fast and then it slows down with reaching for you Re where it slows down and it's and it's sung in more of a l dragged out and longer and dragged out a bit more I love that and that is in singing and in music is called legato which is where notes are played long, like where notes are extended for a longer period, over a longer period, like uh, as opposed to which is staccato which is very quick, as you can hear, very quick, and closed off to close off. This was overall, and just I loved how in the final chorus, or like the final peak of the song, it really, you know, there's, there's, there's these multiple layers as well, like... Right <laughs> Yeah, like there. I love how it's very big and like very, very almost the climax. Very, it, that really helps to emphasize with all the layerings and all the, and just to make it the sound bigger. It really does give off that anime end credits feeling. It really emphasizes that feeling there as well. Especially with all the multiple vocals and layering to the the vocals, because that's because layers are very much a very common technique in music production to make your sound louder and bigger, and that really and that layer that specific type of layering there of the vocals really is very common in sort of anime end credit themes slash movie and anime movie end credits it really does is amazing and i love it and i love that there's this little guitar solo here gives us a little bit of a break and just before we get back into the chorus slash climax to give to really give us a break and just some time to for the everything to settle in also reading the lyrics as well it really does feel like while we may be despairing now from what i understand we may be despairing now don't give up because we will always find a way and create a new future for us both for a new future through the darkness and especially this is all especially this lyric right here will always burn to burst through the dark misty night that very much is sounds like something that is very hopeful Despite how sad and almost somber this song feels. And I love it. It really has that contrast. Also, also, this here, this next part here is very, very cool and 
just I love it with the whole whispering as well. that just a little change in tone from big and strong to like smaller and quiet with the whispering whisper singing as well what it just really gives off a, a feeling of lucia is more so keep keeping these lyrics and words to herself as opposed to declaring it to the world like wanting to grasp our hand again and, and all that comes with it but yeah, overall, man, just this was a beautiful and sad, yet sad song and somber song as well. Just um, this was just beautiful all around. But yeah, I think with that said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please drop a like on the video, and also if you want to see more, please subscribe. But please let me know what you thought of the video down in the comments below. And let me know what you thought of the song as well. I'd love to hear your opinions on the song as well. But yeah. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Remember to stay humble. Be kind to people. I'll see you guys later.